One of the things I always mention when talking about ScreenFlow that I love about it is how it does animations. And so let me show you an example of what I mean. So let's say I've got this video here of a keyboard, right? It's just, it's nothing special, but it does what we need it to do. And then I want this screenshot to show up over it. And I want it to slide in, maybe do a little flip and then slide out at the end, right? So this is in Final Cut Pro, um, an app that I really enjoy. But basically, so this is, you know, very basic. Um, but what I need to do is I don't want it to take up the full size. So let me scale it down a little bit. Um, let's see, 95 usually works pretty well. There we go. I'm not gonna do anything else here. Like I can do some stuff with like trimming it and I like to round the corners for iPhone screens, but um, let's not do that. Uh, so where do I want it to show up, right? So let me move it over so I can move it over there. And then I need to do the animation because I want it to kind of slide in from this side and flip a little bit. And then I want it to kind of drop out of frame. That's what I'm looking for. So how do I do it? So let me uh, jump forward. Oops. Uh, let's do two seconds. So I'm going to the two second mark. That's where I want it to end. And so let me set a keyframe there for the X, Y coordinates, also the rotation coordinates and um, actually opacity as well. So I, at the end, at this point, I want it to be right here. So then let me go back two seconds and I want the opacity to be zero. I'm gonna scoot it over a little ways, like 2000 pixels-ish. And the rotation I'm gonna do, uh, let's see, negative 20 maybe. And then that should bring it in like so. And so it kind of slides in. And so if we play it back, it should kind of come in and I think that's okay, but what I don't like is how slow it goes. So I actually want it to come in faster. And so how do I do that? I want to shorten this timeline. I'd want it to end at the two second mark, but how do I make this shorter? Well, what I have to do is I have to right click and then I want to show the video animation. And so now I have like this extra big timeline where I can see here's the keyframe I set for when they uh, stop and then here's the start point. And so what I need to do is I need to grab these somehow. Um, oh boy. Uh, nope, that's not going to work. There we go. Drag it in. Um, so let's say you start one second in and then the opacity also I want to start at that same point and then line, I got to line those up and everything. And so hopefully that's about right. And so if I play it now, it comes in a little faster. And that's all right and everything. Um, it does just kind of a linear transition. I'd love to do it that ease out, um, or ease in and ease out, but whatever, don't need to do it. And then I would do the same thing on this backside. So go to the end of the clip, I'm gonna go one second from the end, keyframe, 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 and then go to the end. And again, I wanted it to fall out of frame. So let me rotate it a little bit. I'll have it rotate like that set the opacity to zero, and then I'm gonna set the Y coordinates to really low, and I'm actually gonna move it over to the right a little bit. So there you go. And that's a basic animation in Final Cut. But why do I like ScreenFlow so much? Let's take a look. Okay, so here's the same video in ScreenFlow. It's loaded up, it's that same 11 second clip of the keyboard. Uh, again, that's not really important. What is important is I wanna drag in this image. I'm gonna make it the full length of the video. And so I want to do the same thing, throw it on the left so I can actually, I have these controls here, which are really nice. So I can scale it exactly right. I can move it over here and you can do this in Final Cut, but it, you have to kind of go into a different mode. It's a little more annoying. It's not a big deal, but I kind of like the ease of use there. So now it's in that final position, right? So I wanna to go to the two second mark where it should hit that spot. And then all I do is go up here to the top right and hit action. There we go. And so now what I have to do is I have this little yellow bar here and this is the animation time. And so at the end of it, I want it to be here. So how do I get those things at the start? I go to the start of the animation and then I'm gonna say, let's rotate it a little bit this way. Let's set the opacity to zero. And then let's set this to negative. 2000. I could drag it, but I'm just going to enter it there. Um, and so now if I play it back, we should see it animate in, right? And that's perfect. Um, I can also change the animation curve to linear, which is what Final Cut did by default. I have ease in and out set as my default um, animation. So it shows that for me, which I like for basically every animation I do on screen. But yeah, that looks pretty good. But again, same problem. I actually want it to be quicker. So I want it to start at one second in. How do I do that? Super, super simple. So 
all I have to do is go to the start of the animation and drag it so it's shorter. And you can see even over here, it's showing me the new duration. So um, it is now one and a half seconds down to one second. There we go. And so now I can play it and there we go. And I can even move it over here. Maybe I want it to be totally later in the video and it happens. Um, but again, I want it kind of right here. That works great, but it was super simple. I didn't have to pull up any keyframes or anything. There's no real concept of keyframes. All I have to do is say after the animation, this is where I want it to be. And before the animation, this is where I want it to be. And so on the back side, we'll do the exact same thing. So again, an action, uh, it does two seconds by default for this one. I'm gonna drag it down to one second and then I want it to drop, right? So rotate it a little bit, drop it down and drop the opacity to zero. And so again, I can play that back and it's going to drop out of frame. So really nice, really easy. And that's just kind of the start of it. Like there's tons more you can do here, um, but basically the ease of use of being like, actually, you know what, this is not quite right. Let me move this over. Let me make it a little faster, um, make it a little slower. Let me change it to a linear animation. Like all of this stuff is super simple and doesn't require any keyframes, doesn't require any separate modes to go into. It just does animation really well. And I really appreciate that about ScreenFlow. Thank you.